What's up, Zombie Slayers? This is KJ48, and welcome back to my 7 Days to Die Alpha 16 Hype Train. Let's play Hype Train! Alright, last video, we looted the some of the farther, pharmaceutical building. Uh, I think the first two floors, and we also started a farm. It looks like the farm's actually uh, starting to uh, bear fruit, as it were. Although, not much fruit. I don't think corn is a fruit. But anyway, you get what I'm saying. It's starting to uh, give us some material, so we're going to go over there and check it out in a moment. Today, we will be adding to the door defense using... Um, electrical fence posts and we will also be working more on the base getting ready for the day seven horde if you end up enjoying the video please remember to give it a like also if you are new here please subscribe for more daily videos okay so let's get started oh uh, i wanted to grab these really quickly these uh notes because i want to have the notes ready for horde night um because i want to use them during horde night Oh, also, I did a lot of farming off uh, off camera. Well, not really off camera. I was kind of on camera. I did farming during the stream. And while I was farming, I actually went all the way to the trader. And they had this uh, beautiful, beautiful machete for sale. I think I got it from, from the trader. I'm almost positive I bought this from the trader. Um, so that's where I got it from, I guess. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, I wasn't going to buy it. I'm not a big fan of the machete, to be honest. But I realized that if I didn't buy it, people would freaking lose their minds because people just love the machete so i got the machete we'll use it for a little bit see if see how good it is and um so far i've been using it it's been pretty decent it doesn't miss as much as i remember it uh when i used to use a machete all the time like I, it used to like miss a lot you know what i mean uh like i'd swing at a zombie's head the zombie head was right there and i would just miss uh, and it was very frustrating so i stopped using it um i've been using it a little bit since then and it's actually been uh, a little bit better so uh that is pretty pretty cool all right 12 why can't i Oh, not corn on the cob cage. Corn seeds. There we go. All right, so we're going to turn some more corn into corn seeds. We're going to go ahead and turn coffee into coffee seeds. Um, and we are also going to replant some goldenrod. Here we go. Okay, so we're also making a bunch of arrows. Um, as I was going back and forth to the trader and farming... Uh, you know, not farming farming, but, uh, you know, farming boulders and stuff. I was actually finding a lot of nests. So I actually have quite a bit of feathers, finally. Um, so that's pretty cool. We'll have to come back here in a little bit. All right, so let's go ahead and show you what we're going to do with the fence posts. So there's two things that uh, are kind of active agents in this door defense. There is the switch, which cuts the power completely. And then there's the pressure plates, which activates the dart traps, right? All right. So I want the electric fence to always be on. I don't want the electric fence to have anything to do with the pressure plates uh, because I was doing some tests uh, on my... my um, my multiplayer world and i just didn't like the way it was working with the pressure plates but i do want it obviously i do want it obviously connected to the switch so i can turn it off and walk by when i need to all right so you just saw a screamer out there so let's go ahead and do this let's go ahead and wire this to here okay and then wire this to here all right and then let's turn it on there we go all right, so the screamer is is breaking on the spikes. Oh, I'm, I also got to take down that barn. So during the stream, I was kind of cutting out the barn to make it collapse. But then I was thinking, you guys might want to see the collapse. So I stopped doing that, and I will collapse it uh, for you guys. Oh, also, I did hit level 40. So before we before we start you know, doing anything else, let's go ahead and put another point in toolsmithing. And what else? Well, what else? What else? Hmm, what else do I want? I don't know. Maybe steel... Hmm. All right, there might be some other stuff, but I'm not going to deal with it right now. Those are, the, those are the two things I really wanted. All right, so let's open this up. And I don't hear the... I guess the screamer maybe got a scream off or something. I'm not really sure. Because we now have some zombies coming in, but... Oh, there she is. Come on, scream. She's going to get darted. Watch this. Oh, <laughs> electrocuted and darted. Actually, I don't hear the darts going off. Did I disable the dart traps? Nope, they're out of ammo. Okay, well, that's even worse. All right, well, I do have some darts going up, going, being made up here. So let's go ahead and put them in the dart traps. Uh, there we go. That one still has some. You gotta lock the ammo for them to work. There we go. Okay. Uh, put half in here. Lock it. And put half down here. And lock it. Okay. Alright, took care of her ass. Alright, so if anyone else goes in the middle, they're screwed. Let's see if we can upgrade this door any. Nope. Yeah, the door is upgraded so we get steel. Well, we have steel. 
Oh my god, you can hear that, right? I don't know if this is too loud. Uh, actually, it might be too loud. Let's turn this down a little bit. Uh, 50, 50%, huh? Sounds loud. Let's put down a 30. There we go. A little better. We got Big Bertha here who likes to drop uh, big big shovels, or as some people like to call it, her big spoons. Alright, there we go. So you can see right here why these pole defenses are so nice because you can just melee through. By the way, I did go to the desert. I don't know when I went to the desert. I think I went to the desert uh, during the stream and I got a bunch of yucca. Uh, so food is not really a problem at the moment. Okay, everything's dead. All right, cool. The dart trap is, uh, I think, is a resounding success. And uh, Zorin in the in the forums has been helping me, uh, which I've been really finding quite well helpful. <laughs> so thank you very much, Zorin. Okay, so we are going to need these. I want a way to get from from tower to tower, or you know, base platform to base platform. So we're gonna shut that off. Um, let's go ahead and loot these guys. Man, the, the darts are pretty strong. The darts are pretty strong. Now it sounds too low, right? All right I'm going to turn it back up to 40. We'll kind of mess around with it. Kind of get the sound right. All right. If you guys think if the game's too low or too quiet or whatever, you know, let me know in the comments for sure. All right. There we go. Loot that up. Got to make sure our forge is doing its thing constantly. Um, okay. So here we go. Let's get some forge steel. Why can't we do forge steel? Because we need a crucible. Okay, is the crucible made in here? No, it's made in the crap. Okay. So we're going to need mechanical parts and clay. So we got the clay, we got the stone. Let's get some mechanical parts and let's make a crucible. So where are the mechanical parts? I believe they're in here somewhere. There we go. <laughs> 69. All right, we got to get some stuff out of our inventory. All right, we have a lot of arrows now. Um, we also need to plant uh, a lot of those uh, seeds we made. So, all right, uh, mechanical parts crucible Getting somewhere now people 17 minutes gotta love it <laughs> it'll be done by the end of the video uh barely i'm actually at 17 minutes right now in the video okay so we clear that all right so let's do this we gotta meet this part up with this part or we can come out here with a walkway and have it come over here i actually kind of like that a little bit more let's go ahead and mark off the other tower we're going to be doing okay so uh this is one uh, one, two, three, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, and then the, okay, so it's six away. Okay. So one, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then the wall, right? And then the wall. Okay, you know we're going to need more of these, but I don't have a lot of wood, so I'm going to hold off. All right, so that's going to be the wall, so we could leave that right there. Okay, so if that's the wall, let's make sure this is lined up properly. Uh, what is what is this? This is, uh, I forget how far this is. It's three in the middle, right? Yeah, it's three in the middle. One, two, three. Okay, so three in the middle. So one, two, three, and that's the wall. So this will be the middle. So let's make sure this is the middle proper. That's the middle. That's the middle. Okay, so they are lining up properly. Very good, very good. That's what I want to see. Let's get this torch out of here. Okay, so with that being said, I'm thinking what I want is a long wall going from this tower to that tower and over to the middle right here. Kind of like um, kind of like a big T, you know what I'm saying? So I'm thinking that might be good. Let's, uh, you know, we're going to need a lot. We're going to need a lot more of these frames. There's no, there's no two ways around it. Okay, change, change of plans, fellas. Uh, we're going to go... All right, so this is going to be the tower right here, okay? We're going to put a big, long, little lip right here. Not a big, long, little lip. What the hell is that, Cage? No, we're going to put a little lip right here, okay? It's going to go from the top all the way down to the bottom. Then what we're going to do is right here, under uh, one, one spot into the ground, we're going to put electric fence, okay? Then we're going to put electric fence pole right there, an electric fence pole right here, an electric fence pole right here, and this is going to be the next set of towers, Okay. Electric fence poles can go every eight blocks. So one, two, three, four, five. All right, so let's go right here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Should be good. I'm a little bit worried about that one, actually. Nah, it should be good. It should be fine. And then one, two, three, four, five. So it's even. And actually, these line up with the poles in the middle. 
with the um the the corners of the middle tower which i really like and i think that's going to be a nice outer wall defense i think that's going to be really sweet but but you can't make walkways that far i mean i, I might be able to make a walkway seven seven blocks but I don't know. I don't think I want to be walking on these. I don't think I want them to be walkways. Originally, I was going to have them be walkways. Not so much. So we're going to go with our original idea for this build. Oh, there's a zombie. We're going to go with our original idea for this build, which means the walkways are going to be in the middle. Okay, so if that's the case, that means we need to break this out. And we need to break those side, those side ones out as well. Or we could just break that out and put this like this. Eh, I don't really like that that much, to be honest. I think I'm going to break these out too. So you'll see, you'll see what we're going to do here. Break that one out. Break this one out. And then we're going to put like that, that, and that. Okay. And then, uh, and then this is where we need the corner pieces. Uh, copy rotate. No, not copy rotation. Uh, auto rotate, copy rotation, simple face. There we go. Yeah, I think that's what we want. And like that. And then like that. And let's go upstairs and see if that looks okay. The cool thing is once we get these connected, we can then take this stupid little thing here down. <laughs> and then we go from tower to tower. And that's the idea. If like, if this tower is being like hammered too hard, I can always come over here and deal with this tower. Right? That's the, that's the whole point. All right, can I reach out from here? Yes, I can. That's not going to make it over here without collapsing. All right, we need to get back on the other tower. That's fine. I'm hoping not to need any pillars for this, but it might not make it. It should actually. I think it'll make it. Honestly, we'll just have to see. All right, let's come on up here and check you out. All right, you're good. Um, I'm gonna hold off on this until I can get the uh, crucible, and then that way uh, I'll cook out some steel at that point. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna need more iron anyway. How much more iron can I make here? Two thousand. I don't need two thousand. Let's just do nine nine nine. There we go. How's the crucible doing? All right, another 10 minutes. My goodness. Okay, so, uh, what do we come up here for? Oh, yeah, we got to come over here. All right, so now we're going to come over here. We're going to do the same thing right here. It, so this one needs to be knocked out right here. Right? Yep. Yep, this is the case. Okay, this is coming out really nice. This is coming out really nice. Also, guys, I don't think we're as close to stable as I was once thinking. Um, yeah, I don't think we're that close to stable. <laughs> uh, th this latest, this latest, uh, patch is pretty buggy. I think they've got some work to do. So, uh, so I might be playing on this world a little bit longer than I thought, which is fine by me. Can I have this come over here? Yes. Oh, damn it. That's a lot of wasted wood. Son of a bitch. All right, let's not, let's not screw around. All right, I'm going to leave that there for now. Okay, so we get this right here. So this is going to be on face. There we go. And the same thing over here. Come on. There we go. There we go. Okay, and then one right there. Now we should be able to reach. All right, I can really get on the corner, huh? Oh, damn it. I wasn't sure if it was holding on to the corner or not. Um, that's okay. Do this. And then what we'll do is we will put this right here. All right, we're getting there, people. We're actually getting a uh, pretty good amount of work done today. I'm happy with the way things are turning out as well. Uh, I'm not happy with losing all that wood. I did not want to. I did not want to chop down a lot of trees today, but I might have to chop down a couple of trees over there. At least they're not that far away. Okay. And there we go, people. Can we walk across it? All right. Very good. We've got a platform. Look at that. That's really nice. Oh, you know we got to worry about spider zombies today. Well, let's uh, let's do that right now then. Uh, someone in the comments told me that uh, what I should do is I should use these uh, these fence posts. Uh, these uh, what are they called? Um, rail. They're called railings, right? Wood railings. And um, as you can see right here, they will they will keep the spider zombies from getting up to me. They're not exactly stable. Uh, well, I mean they're stable enough, right? I mean they're just not like. They're not as good as iron bars, but they're a nice substitute for iron bars until you get iron bars. And um, I think I'll have iron bars by day 21, assuming I'm still playing this world at that time. So it should not be an issue. Right here, right? That's the way it was over there? Pretty sure. Yeah, four blocks. Yes. Okay, so you guys can see kind of what I'm doing here. And then what else I can do is I can put this out like this. Like so. Alright. Alright, so you see what I've got going on here. Okay, 
I'm not gonna put that. Actually, I could probably put that out one more, right? Because it's supposed to line up with this. Actually, I could put it out two more. Uh, so this will be like. Hold on, let me uh, let me get this sh straight. Okay, there we go. Alright, so how's this one looking? So this one's, uh, actually I think I put too many on that other side. Possibly. Alright, so that looks like that. So that would come out like this. Okay, so it looks like that. So one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I think I put one too many over here. Oh, whatever, I'll leave it like that for now. Um, no, actually it's gonna bother me. <laughs> it's gonna bother me. Uh... I think uh, so that goes lined up with that so what I should do is like this uh, no that's all right it's fine well basically what's going on is I'm not making the other tower so it's kind of irrelevant um, I'm gonna need more wood anyway for these railings I'm sure well maybe not I mean I have I'm almost done with this actually this is uh yeah this is kind of really nice I'm really happy with this whoever gave me the idea for these wood railings thank you because it's pretty cool and um again uh, Ruin, or, damn it, I forget, Zorin, I think it is, uh, with the dart trap help, oh man, you know, just great, great tips right there. Alright, so, let's go ahead and break this out right here. I only have one set of spikes down, that's the only thing I'm a little bit just meh about, but I have two towers, so who cares. What I should do is I should go to the other tower and finish the spikes that are going around that, because, um, some got broken out and I never, I never replaced them. Now, these fences will not work once you start getting cops puking at you. But I don't expect to have cops in the day 14 horde, so. I have no idea what my game stage is. I wish the game would tell you what your game stage is somehow. Like some in-world universe. Maybe like, maybe like your game stage could be something like mental. Like um, your character's feeling really good about himself and that's because you're doing really well. And maybe the better your character feels, the higher the game stage is. Right? Just give us some way to tell us what the game stage is without without being immersion breaking. You know? I, actually, that could really work. Like, you could have, like, um, uh, I don't know, a confidence meter. And the higher it is, the higher the game stage is. That would be... That'd be fine, right? I think that's a good idea. You can use that, Fun Pimps. There we go. Now, you don't want to upgrade these, I was told, because if you do, they might fall. It's kind of weird with the upgrading. Uh, plus, I'm just going to replace them with iron bars. So, and uh, the cool thing about these wood things is they're easy to break out. So they're easy to replace with iron bars. Okay, so let's go downstairs and replace some spikes and maybe put down some barbed wire. I mean, we're actually ready for the horde there already. This is great. This is great. All right, so what do we got here? Um, did I not take my nail gun? There it is. By the way, nail guns are bugged, apparently. They don't seem to be, uh, oh, crap, I need more wood, of course. They don't seem to be, uh, Losing uh, uh, durability at all, so. Okay, there we go. Alright, let's go chop down a tree. Oh, I gotta replant these. Let's replant these. I'm gonna replant these and then chop down that tree. Let's do it. I should also maybe want to plant some yucca. Uh, yucca's really cool when you're running through the desert, but if you actually have to plant it in a farm, it, the farm doesn't grow enough, like, yucca to really make it that useful unless you have a really big farm. Uh, and plus there's other things I'd rather grow. I mean, I'd rather grow corn than yucca. I mean, that's just, it's, corn's way better. Alright. So, guys, when, uh, Alpha 15, uh, when Alpha 16 goes stable, um, you guys should do what I'm gonna do. Start a farm as early as possible. Uh, I was actually thinking about, in Alpha 16, doing a no, a no prefab run, where I'm not allowed to live in a prefab. Uh, but with the nerfs to stamina and stuff, like, it just doesn't seem very smart. Um, so I'm going to actually stay in a prefab. So I think I might actually... I think the first thing I'm going to do is get a... Uh, the first thing I'm going to do in Alpha 16 is I'm going to... Um, do I have my hoe on me? Probably not. God darn it. I want to make this farm bigger. Oh, never mind. I don't have to. I think the first thing I'm going to do in my Alpha 16 Let's Play is I'm going to finish the quest, get to the trader, and then I uh, uh, search for a town. That's a little scary doing that in that order. Because if I don't find a town, I could be kind of, you know, screwed. But, um, you know, we'll see, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. All right, so that's good. Oh, yeah, we got to cut down the tree. I'm not really sure how I want to handle that, to be honest. I am going to play on this seed as well. Um, and I don't think this seed is the same seed as when I first played it. Um, because during a stream, uh, like, a, like a week or two back, like during one of the updates, right, 
I went to the I went to the same location, right? And uh, well, it wasn't this location, but it was the location of the first town I was in, the first time I used the seed. And the town wasn't there, and people were telling me that uh, whenever they do an update, the seeds are kind of wiped, and it's kind of like a new seed. So I, I don't really know exactly. Um, the seed might actually be pretty, you know, reset during updates. Maybe I, I don't really know though. That might might be the case. It might not. I am not sure about that either way. All right, so. Uh, spikes, that's right. Spikes! Spikes for days, people! Hells yeah, spikes. Yeah, those new traps are all fancy and everything, but you're still going to be using spikes until you get up to, like, you know, the level that you could use the new traps. Spikes are still the bread and butter, as far as I'm concerned. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, get some spikes ready. Now we're in the final prep work, guys. This is going to be a glass horde where I wasn't ready. <laughs> I'm, I'm freaking ready. I am freaking ready. I think I am going to put two layers of spikes around this outside part, though. Just because. This part right here is a little... I'm a little bit scared about this part. When, Not if, when I do this build again. Because I will be doing this build again at some point. When I do this build again, I'm going to make it a little wider. Because I don't like... I think I mentioned this. I don't like this one spot here. I feel like it's a little bit... Um, I don't know. Exposed? Not, not, I don't know. I, just, I don't like the way it's, it is. So, I'm going to deal with that. Okay, we could also set these up if we wanted to. What are the chances they're going to come from that side, though? Whoops. Uh, where am I pick at? Oh, damn, I'm full. Alright, well, whatever. Let's continue upgrading these. I probably could get these pillars done today if I wanted to. Um... With the extra electric fence? The electric fence does not do a lot of damage from what I understand. So I want to figure out a way to use the electric fence with other traps. And right now all I have is spikes. Um, I guess I could work on a shotgun trap. But I, I don't think I have that. You know, you need the shotgun parts for it. This is the point in the let's play when I probably start looting a lot more. You know? Uh, which, you know, I might start doing after today. Uh, actually, what is my scavenging at? Scavenging. Okay, so scavenging is 20. So that's good. So we could put a point in Quality Joe finally on day 14. Um, four, isn't it? Uh, scavenging quality Joe. There we go. All right, so 40 will be the next quality Joe. So we can start doing some looting. Um, okay, so let's put this stuff up here. All right, let's get to work. How you doing? Got, got more iron for me? How's that crucible doing? Crucible's done. Okay, so let's turn this off. Stop this. Put the crucible up here. Let's start making some steel, people. 114 steel. Uh, you know what? I'm going to need it because I need a whole set of steel items. There we go. All right. You know what? I'm going to turn this off now. I don't want the heat to be a problem for the horde. And I'm not going to need this steel for the horde either. So so the it seems like the electric fence is kind of the upgrade to the barbed wire. So that's pretty cool. It stops them in their tracks. It's nice because if you turn off the electric fence, you can walk through it. You don't have to worry about barbed wire. Um, I'm actually going to put down the barbed wire flat on the ground too. Like some people have been telling me for years. Um, but I didn't want to because I thought it looked stupid. I am also going to put some points in weaponsmithing. Now, do I want to go two points in weaponsmithing? That would be crafting quality 300. Yeah, I want to make green items. I can't. I don't have enough points. Okay. So you can see here how we don't have enough points. All right, well, you know what? I could definitely use another bow because the bow I have right now is kind of uh, in, in rough shape. And um, I would like to make a, a green bow, but I don't have the points. So it is what it is. Let's go ahead and mark the bow. Let's go ahead and mark the bow like so and use it. Then we'll scrap this one. And there we go. 250 bow. Okay. Is she dead yet? Come on, man. No, she's not. What's she doing? She's supposed to be going for the forge. I don't know what the hell she's doing. Oh, did I not turn off my, um... I turned off my electric, electric set, didn't I? She's not in there, though. Where the hell is she? Alright, let's, uh... Put this right here so we can get up there quickly. And is she in there? No, I don't know where she is. I'm gonna ignore her to hell with it. She calls a horde. She calls a horde. This video is going long. All right, I did not see her. I tried to go out that way and get down, but I forgot I took that path out. Okay, come on, damn it. There we go. Turn this off. It's a little bright down here too, isn't it?
All right, I don't know where the hell she is or where she's going. I think she's drunk. I don't know. I'm gonna ignore her. Okay, so we're looking good there. So, uh... Let's put some spikes down, like so. Um, now, I don't normally do this, guys. I don't... You are such a pain in the fucking ass, I swear to God. Ooh, sorry for the cursing, but she's really aggravating me. Well, you know what? Killing zombies does give a good amount of experience, so... They, they beefed up the amount of experience uh, killing zombies gives you. But they said they, they said they beefed it up by a little bit, but I don't think that's really the case. It seems to be a lot more than a little bit, so... She's dying. What's up, Hootie McBoobs? Oh. Okay. Sorry. It's over. See, it wouldn't want to be you. All right. I don't care about the poles anymore here. I don't think I want to put the barbed wire on poles anymore. I'll probably just lay it down flat. All right. We are out of iron. Uh, or iron and they're not making any more, so that's fine. Uh, then I need to put these down flat, but we need to chop up some corpses first. I know we're going along here, but that is... Uh, A-OK -okay with me, because I'm going to do Horde Knight, like, right away. Alright. Aight. There you go. You're done. Alright, so how do we get these on the ground? So, face right... Eh, on face, I thought it would be okay, but I guess not. Let's just do that rotation. Come on. Come on, damn it. I don't want to click it too fast, because then I might miss it when it's on the ground. Has it already been on the ground that I missed it? Uh, I'm not sure what's going on here. Alright, so. Uh, simple copy rotation, auto rotate, on face, advanced. Can you not put these on the ground anymore? Or, I'm not sure if I'm doing something wrong with the rotation here. I don't know. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to put it on face. And maybe that'll allow me to put it on the ground. It's weird, guys. It's not letting me put it on the ground. Is that a thing now? Has anyone put barbed wire on the ground since this update? Look at this. Is it just invisible when it's on the ground? It might be. That might be the ground. Yeah, it's on the ground. Okay. So it's just kind of invisible when it's on the ground. That's all. So let's do this, this, and this, 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 and this. Okay. Uh, is there any more we want to put on the ground? Yeah, I guess why not, right? Might as well. Well, guys, you've been begging me to put these stuff on the ground for a long time now, so there you go. Um, I, again, I don't think it looks as good, but, you know, whatever. It's not all about looks, I guess. Uh, one row of spikes. Someone was telling me run, one row of spikes is enough, so we're going to go with one row of spikes. Um, since we're going to have four towers, we don't. I guess we don't need two rows anymore, right? Because if, if these rows, if these uh, spikes get broken out, I just go to another tower. That's, that's the point of it, so. Okay. A lot of barbed wire, people. A lot of barbed wire. There we go. I guess we'll might as well put some down around here, too. The one thing I didn't like about putting on the ground is you could barely see it, and that always bothered me. But in this situation, it's not so bad because I'm just going to put it right next to the spikes. So I know, just don't go next to the spikes. Um, even though I can't see it, I'll know where it is. Just stay one block away from the spikes. All right, let's chop up some of these corpses because uh, zombies will be able to stand on them and not take damage uh, from the spikes. So there we go. And uh, I think I'm going to call this one here. I'm going to do some cleanup duty, guys. Next episode will be Horde Night. Uh, it should be pretty fun. So I will see you then. Uh, thank you very much for watching. And until then, take it easy.